Aloha, this is Heidi at ECPZ. This video is a comparison review of multiple newborn wool diaper covers. Included in this review is the Bum Genius wool diaper cover in size extra small, the Poppy wool cover with snap closure in size newborn, the Baby Greens Classic side snapping wool cover in newborn size, the Lovey Bums Lovey Bums in one size newborn small wool cover, I was gifted this cover in order to include it in my natural cloth diapering class. If you haven't already watched the series, it's a 12 part series covering all things related to cloth diapering with natural fibers. We'll be looking at the Dasana Knit Wool Soaker in size three to six months. I was gifted this by Green Mountain Diapers also to include in the natural cloth diapering class. And we have two pairs of Truly Caris Slims in the newborn size. One that's the mid-weight interlock wool and one that's heavyweight interlock wool. I was gifted both of these in order to review them for you. Let's take a close look at these newborn wool diaper covers. Let's start by talking briefly about the sizes. These two were the smallest, the Bum Genius Extra Small and the Poppy Newborn size. Both of these sat nicely below the umbilical cord stump from birth. With this Bum Genius, it was so small, it was hard to fit much under it. And I also had that issue with the Poppy newborn cover as well. Next up are the Baby Greens and the Lovey Bums. These fit for about the same amount of time on my baby. These both did come up over the umbilical cord stump, but since wool is breathable, that is okay. It might just rub or bump a bit against the stump. Then the Slims and the Dasana Soaker were the ones that fit for the longest. Especially this Dasana Soaker is just such a stretchy knit wool that it can really stretch to fit over a bulky diaper. And these leg bands can stretch to fit baby for quite a while. I waited on these Slims to use them until after my baby's umbilical cord stump had fallen off since I just didn't want to put the waistband over the umbilical cord stump. Now let's go over what type of wool each of these is and where it was made. So the Bum Genius cover is two thin layers of interlock wool, and this is made in the USA. The Poppy wool cover is a very thin woven wool fabric, so this doesn't have the same stretch as the interlock or other types of knit wool fabrics. Poppy wool covers are made in Poland. The Baby Greens cover is two thin layers of interlock wool, it also has some cotton inside this front panel and in these wings just to make it stronger where the snaps attach. And this cover is made in the USA. This particular Lovey Bums cover is made of a wool crepe. It's a very airy type of wool and Lovey Bums products are made in the USA. These Truly Caris Slims are made of heavyweight wool interlock. This fabric is a blend of wool and spandex. These are made in the USA. And this is the mid-weight interlock wool by Truly Caris, so it's a lot thinner of a wool. Again, a wool spandex blend. This Dasana cover is a knit wool, organic wool, and it's made in Germany. Now let's look at the closures. These three are pull-on style, so you just pull them on up onto your baby. These four are what we refer to as wrap style covers when we're talking about wool covers. So people often think about the pull on soaker style, but you also can have wool covers that wrap around and either close with hook and loop or snap closure. The Bum Genius cover has this hook and loop closure. You can open it up. There's two Velcro tabs here. So when you're washing and you don't want this to snag on the wool, you can close it there. I had thought that I was really going to like having a hook and loop one just to make diaper changes super easy during the newborn phase, but it was kind of hard to get a good fit on my baby with this one because whenever I adjusted the legs to be loose enough, it ended up with the waist gaping a bit. This poppy cover that I have is snap closure, but they do also offer a hook and loop closure as well. I didn't try that in the newborn size, but I do have a hook and loop closure in the one size. So there's two snaps on each wing. These covers are just so pretty in that they have these alternating different snap colors, 
So a lot of attention to detail goes into these. You can also see the accent color of the stitching there. And there is one row of rise snaps on the newborn size. So it can go out to that full rise. And even as a newborn, this cover sat below my baby's umbilical cord stump unsnapped like that. One thing I don't love about poppy covers is the way the tag is on the inside, which doesn't make sense to me because then it gets saturated with pee. I wish instead they would put them on the outside of the cover. For the baby greens, they have two snaps on either side, and I really like this side snapping style. Baby greens does also make a wrap style where the wings come over and snap, which I haven't actually tried. I love this style so much that I stuck with it. What I like is these two snaps allow you to adjust the waist and these two allow you to adjust the legs. There are these three different snap placements. So when my baby's first newborn and has itty bitty legs, I like to snap the legs at the tightest setting, but then I'll put the waist on the middle setting to allow some room for the umbilical cord stump. This Lovey Bums cover is in snap closure. With my daughter, I had had the hook and loop Aplex closure, so now I've tried both of them. To me, these snaps just aren't quite as good quality as on like the baby greens or the poppy wool covers. I had a little bit of trouble snapping them sometimes. They do have these crossover snaps, but we never used those. We just used it starting from this setting here. So two snaps on each wing with skipping a snap in between. And then since this particular one is what they call a lovey bums in one, it's an all in two style cloth diaper. So you can snap in an insert here. Lovey Bums also makes ones that are just covers without those inside snaps. I'll talk quickly about which type of absorbency I used under these wool covers. You can also see more about that in my fit video where I showed how these fit on my baby. So for the Bum Genius, I was using some homemade half size newborn flats with an insert inside them because I was having trouble fitting newborn prefolds or newborn fitted diapers under this cover that has such a small rise. It was just hard to get the wool to completely cover the absorbency. For the poppy cover, I often used it with a preemie size prefold folded in thirds with a hemp cotton doubler inside it because again, that was something that I could lay inside this cover and the cover would cover it up completely. For the Baby Greens cover, it fit well over pretty much anything. I liked using it over the newborn prefolds, over newborn muslin flats I had, and also over newborn fitted diapers. This Lovey Bums in One is a nice roomy shape that works well over fitted diapers, and it also came with a snap-in insert that I used it with as well. For the Dishonor Wool Soaker, I personally chose to use it over fitted diapers, but you could snappy on a prefold or flat to use under this cover as well. Again, with the slims, I also used those overfitted diapers. For me, when I had the pull-on style wool, especially with a newborn who has explosive newborn poop, I just felt safer having a type of absorbency under that would have really good containment. As my baby's gotten older, now I'm braver and I will use pull-on style wool over snappy prefolds. Which was the fastest to dry and which was the slowest to dry? One thing to keep in mind when using wool covers is after you wash and lanolize them, they will require some time to lay flat to dry or hang to dry. So it can be nice to have some covers in your stash that dry more quickly. The poppy cover was the one that dried the fastest. This wool crepe lovey bums is also pretty quick to dry. And the baby greens would dry overnight. The one that took by far the longest to dry was this Knit Dishonor Soaker. And that's an indication that this is a very absorbent cover. So if you're looking for something to use overnight, maybe your diaper underneath doesn't absorb all of the pee, then the cover can make up for that and absorb a bit of it. Now likes and dislikes for each one. I was really excited to try this Bum Genius cover and try a hook and loop version. This is relatively new on the market. I think not too many people are aware that Bum Genius makes a wool cover. 
I was excited to give it a go. I just wish I had chosen the size small instead because even though Bum Genius says that this should fit six to 12 pounds, it did not for my baby. This cover is also said to fit six to 12 pounds and this fits so much better and for so much longer than the Bum Genius one did. I also didn't like that it was hard with the hook and loop closure to get a good fit on both the legs and the waist at the same time. If the legs fit, then the waist was too loose. For the poppy wool cover, I love the looks of it. It's beautiful. It's one of the trimmest wool covers I've ever seen. One of my dislikes is that this part can kind of leave a mark on baby's legs because there's elastic around part of the leg but then there is an elastic here, so it can kind of dig in a bit. This wool is not stretchy, like the way the interlock and other knit covers are. So what you gain in thinness, you lose in that nice, soft, squishiness of wool covers. For the baby greens, one of my likes is that it's so soft, and I especially like this version because it's nice and smooth across the front. It makes it really comfortable to hold baby in it. The legs are, bands are really forgiving, super comfortable on baby's legs. I like that since it's a trim fit, it holds whatever's underneath in place really well. So I often would just jelly roll the newborn prefolds and put the cover on without using a snappy or pins or anything. And the cover would hold the prefold in place pretty well. I don't really think I have any dislikes about this cover. It may not be quite as cute and stylish as the poppy covers, but I actually do really like having just newborn undyed covers during the newborn phase. It makes for easier washing and lanolizing since you can throw them all in the lanolin bath together and not worry about any dye bleeding. I do have a size medium that's in a colored version and I kind of missed just having this newborn natural color. Likes and dislikes for the Lovey Bums. This was my second time around using Lovey Bums. I had also used them with my daughter. I think a big thing about it is the way these leg bands stretch out. And now when I'm looking at this, it seems like something happened that the elastic is just shot over here on this leg band because you can see some bunched up elastic right here that it still has some stretch and recovery but here it just doesn't go back tight on the leg anymore. It's like the elastic is gone because then compared to this leg, it's still, you can tell there's elastic there. So I don't know if the coverage just got too old. I thought originally it was because this wool crepe fabric was stretching out around the legs too much, but now I'm thinking maybe that's not the issue. But because of that, I don't get a super good tight fit for good containment around the legs on these. Although I never did really have any issues with leaks if I was using them over a fitted diaper. I think I mentioned again, the snaps weren't as good quality on them. I love that they're made in the USA. I love that they offer some organic options. Some of their wool is organic, some of it isn't. I've only tried the wool crepe and I wish I would have gotten an opportunity to try either jersey or interlock to kind of compare and see if I like that better in the Lovey Bums. For the Desana cover, when it's kind of cool out, like we had some cool nights, I really liked this full coverage where it came up high on his waist. It felt like it kept baby's belly really warm. I like that it's super stretchy, that's comfortable for baby. It makes it easy to fit over a bulky diaper, like a fitted diaper, a nighttime diaper. I like that it fit for a long time. I did choose the size three to six months rather than choosing the size zero to three months. So that helped with it fitting for a long time. I would say the only thing I don't really like about this cover, other than it taking a long time to dry, is just when it is hot days and humid days, then I didn't want quite as full of coverage. Then I prefer some of these smaller covers that don't cover as much. So it kind of depends on the weather where you are. Are you having a summer baby in a hot climate and you want something super trim that only covers the necessary diaper? Or are you gonna be somewhere cooler where it's also nice to have this added warmth? 
And again, because this is knit, this can be made out of 100% wool. So if you want a cover that doesn't have any spandex in it, that could be another plus about these Dishana knit covers. What I like about the Truly Karis slims is that they double as clothing. So my plan was not to get my baby any cotton pants or trousers at all, but only just use these wool ones. We use them mostly when going out because I personally don't like having to pull them on my baby and then pull them off multiple times all throughout the day when we're at home and constantly doing diaper changes. But when I wanted him to get dressed up and go out, then I really like that this functions both as the diaper cover and as the clothing. Between the two, the midweight and the heavyweight, in this slim style, I actually prefer the heavyweight because the midweight was just a little thin to the point of being see-through, like sometimes you could see the edging of his fitted diaper through it. I do like that it's stretchy, easy to put on, but I think these are a little thin side to be closed. I do have a midweight pair of wool bubble shorts in size extra small, and I love those. They're a darker color, so maybe that helps to not see through them as much to see the diaper underneath. When it comes to cloth diapering a newborn, I think it probably is a good idea to have the thicker heavyweight one just to be more bulletproof and also cover up better if you're planning to use it as clothes. For favorites, my favorite two to use during the daytime were the baby greens and the poppy. My favorites to use at nighttime were again the baby greens and the Dasana. As far as how many wool diaper covers to have in a newborn stash, you definitely don't need this many, seven. I had these and then I had two polyester covers. However, with my daughter, all I had was one baby greens, two lovey bums, and one polyester cover. And we did get by with her with having just those four covers. I would say at a bare minimum, it's good to have four wool covers. Having six will allow you a little more wiggle room. And there was only one time during the first week that I was really thankful to have a lot of wool covers plus the two polyester covers. But keeping in mind that we hardly even use this one, so it's kind of like that one didn't count. This one we switched out from the newborn up to the mini one size. This one spent most of its time in the storage basket. This one we only reached for if we really needed it. And these two we only wore as clothes when going out. So we were mostly using these ones. If we needed, I'd pull this one out. If we really needed a backup, we'd use this one plus the two polyester covers. This is more closer to what we were really using on a regular basis. As far as how often I was washing and lanolizing, I was generally washing about once a week. So a great thing about wool diaper covers is if they only get peed in, you can just air them out, let them dry, reuse them. So with a newborn, the main thing is if they get poop on them. You can spot clean if it's just a little bit. If it's more poop, then doing a full cleaning and then a full lanolin bath. So it did work out that it was about once a week during that early newborn stage. It seemed to be that one cover would get dirty and then another and then another, and I might have two or three covers to wash all at once. After the newborn stage, the washing starts to space out maybe about every other week, and then some people can go a month or two months between washing wool with older baby. But with newborns, it is more common to get poop on the covers, so you could be washing more frequently than with the older baby. I hope you found this video helpful for building your newborn cloth diaper stash. If you're interested in cloth diapering with wool diaper covers and natural absorbency, please subscribe and take a look around our Easy Peasy YouTube channel. We have other videos explaining how to use wool diaper covers, including how to wash and lanolize them. Please let me know in the comments below if you're expecting a baby that you're planning to cloth diaper, and let me know if you have any questions.